Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator and the head witch of Bahati Life Apothecary, and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. I'm so excited to dive into the energy of the week ahead. Normally, this would come in a video format, but I am feeling a little under the weather this week, and I felt thought and felt that it would probably be best if I grabbed like a warm, cozy hoodie, some leggings, some socks, and I just whipped up one of these astrological charts, the chart for this week, and I just sat, sat down with a cup of tea and just started talking to you guys. Sometimes I forget that, you know, I have the podcast here and I forget how much of a blessing it truly is to be able to just kind of sit and chit chat with you guys. So that's what we're going to do now. How are you guys feeling? Number one, how are you feeling? The holidays are towards the end of this week. It's December 19th now. December 25th is Christmas. Are you guys ready? <laughs> What's the vibe? Um, me personally, I don't know if I feel 100% ready, but we'll see what happens. You know, I'm just kind of like going with the flow at this point. It's been a year. It's been a few years. So the best thing I can do sometimes is just kind of go with the flow and just kind of see where the universe takes me. So I'm really curious to hear how you guys are handling things. So let's go ahead and dive into this astrological chart, shall we? If you guys hear any noise in the background, it's Nova. I just brought her inside after a little bit of a walk. And she's um, in her crate, a little bit high energy right now. But she's, um, you know, she might be shaking around and Franklin's around here too. Um, picking up little pieces of honeycomb that I must have dropped that I was snacking on earlier. So, all right. So let's get this chart up. I thought I had it up here, but I guess not. Oh, here it is. So first things first, guys. The main thing that is standing out to me this week is going to be a tremendous blessing. I feel that Chiron that was once retrograde is going to be turning direct. I feel that this is going to be a major blessing for every single one of us. I don't know how long you've been following me on YouTube or even my podcast, but I've been talking about this because it's very significant as in the way that it shows up for us in our lives. Chiron specifically has been retrograde since July 19th of this year, 2022. And on top of that, it rules our ability to heal ourselves, but it also represents our ability to spiritually grow and to also use our pain to help other people. Chiron himself was actually considered a healer and a philosopher and a teacher. And the biggest thing that he represented was the fact that as much as he was able to heal others, he couldn't heal himself. Where Chiron falls within the astrological chart points a finger towards the parts of us where we are guided to heal ourselves. And it, it helps us to guide ourselves, um, it helps us to heal ourselves so that we don't end up like how he was. Um, one of the things that really is important is by looking at the, the spots within us that where our wounds fall. And that wound is something that sometimes we can find ourselves wanting to hide or turn our heads around, away from, or maybe there's a feeling of shame or doubt that it even exists. Maybe we don't want to see it. Maybe we don't want to embrace it. But one of the main blessings that Chiron brings is that the fact that you have pain there shows that, that there's an opportunity to not only heal where that pain lies, but also help others and where their pain lies, especially if it feels kind of similar to what you've experienced and what you've gone through. So after Chiron has been retrograde since July of this year and now is moving direct um, this year, um, this week, we have the opportunity to really sit with ourselves once again and reflect back during a very sensitive time in our year, during a very sensitive time in the majority of our lives. We've each gone through so much. What are the main lessons or the main experiences 
And what ha- what has your experience been like? Externally and also internally. What has your experience been like? What have the days looked like for you? What has been your greatest challenge? What has been your greatest accomplishment? Are you okay? How do you feel? Are you good? December 23rd, roughly around 4.30 in the morning, Chiron is going to start moving direct. This is going to be happening in the sign of Aries. Aries is the sign that rules our, our self. It's, it's a self-starter. It's a leadership type of energy. It's a pioneer spirit. Every single one of us was guided to question, do we feel like leaders in our lives? Do we feel like we can show up for ourselves and show up for other people? Do we feel powerful enough to initiate fresh starts and fresh projects? Do we feel confident and self-sustaining or do we feel vulnerable and like we're leaning on someone else and that's stopping us from being able to be our most independent selves? Who and what are we leaning on and what do they represent to us? Why why do we feel that we need this thing or them or whatever the case is? Is it possible that we can do this on our own and be a beacon of light on our own? Is it okay that we can stand on our own two feet? Do we feel like we have to compromise a certain aspects of ourself in order to be successful or in order to meet our goals or take care of ourselves? And what happens when that's stripped away? These are questions that, from what I can tell looking at the chart, Chiron retrograde can bring up to this to the surface. How have things been like for you since July? What has been your experience? And now that Chiron is moving direct again, again, this is going to be December 23rd, roughly around four o'clock in the morning. And then the same day, an hour later, we have the new moon in Capricorn. This energy talks to us about taking our experiences and not looking back with judgment, but understanding that we are pretty powerful people and we have gone through a lot. And it's true that it's important for us to be um, self-sufficient and to stand on our own two feet, but sometimes we also do need to ask for help. Are you ready to ask for help? Are there areas in your life that you've neglected to ask for help? Are there other people that could have helped you? Were you guarded or were you open? Were you receptive or were you, you know, drained and and not essentially letting anyone in or anything in, the things that could have really been helpful and beneficial to you. With this new moon that's happening, the sign of Capricorn, this opens the door in your astrological chart to plant a seed of longevity and stability. And basically, even though we're ending, we're getting really, really close to the end of this year, from what I can tell and what I see and what I feel is that a really important chapter is just beginning December 23rd as Chiron moves direct and as the new moon in Capricorn is occurring. This is going to be prime time for every single one of us to again look at what we've experienced thus far, like what our experiences have been like and how we have been helped or hindered. And then looking at the wound and saying, what would have made things easier for you, better for you? What would have made you feel capable? What words, affirmations could you use to speak life into you so that you can believe in yourself in the way that you did or the way you've never done, in a way that you've never felt ever before? Let that be an intention or an affirmation that you give to yourself at the time of the new moon. Remember, new moons signify new beginnings. They, they signify doors opening or the potential for a door to swing open if we speak the key word, that opens up that locked aspect within ourselves, within our life, within our astrological chart, within the universe. It's like the open sesame or the password that says you can come in. If you know this word, then you can can come through. You can join our club. 
what is it that you can give to yourself at the time of, of the new moon, at the time of Chiron moving direct, that will speak life into you once again? What type of prayers can you speak over yourself that, that give you confidence and heal the root so that the foundation that you're standing on is strong and solid and stable and anything that you decide that you want to launch or create or speak up for yourself or whatever it is that you feel called to do that you you understand that you're capable. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is sometimes you have to almost not trick yourself into you know being what you need to be, but sometimes the action itself, the bold unnatural courageous action itself will activate bravery within you and set things into motion that you thought was never possible. This is something I would love to see you maybe consider again this week as Chiron is moving direct and as the new moon in Capricorn is occurring, both of these happening on the 23rd of December. What kind of step can you take, especially now that Jupiter has entered into the sign of Aries on December 20th? What bold step can you take in order to activate Jupiter's blessings and activate confidence and activate a new chapter, a new journey for you? I want to tell you that these planets lately have been really tough to navigate through and some people are faring better than others. We all do not have the same experiences because we all do not have the same astrological charts. And although we are moving on our planet under a bed of other planets that move around us and impact us, they don't impact us all in the same way. There are people who suffer more than you and there's people who suffer less than you. Every one of us is significant and worth it and valuable to be seen, heard, and felt at this moment in time. Sometimes it's not even the suffering. Sometimes it's the blessings that we're all dealing with individually. Everyone's story is going to be unique. Having said that, really take into consideration the fact that everybody's going through something right now or everybody has something on their mind and everybody is has their own individual goals and everybody has their own hurts and pains and aches, whatever they, whatever they are and wherever they fall. Knowing that kindness and gentleness is powerful and will go a long way will help you in being a healer on this planet and on this earth. And it'll also help to heal someone else because you never know what someone else is going through. You just never know. I say this because as I'm looking at the charts right now, we have Sun square Jupiter. We also have Venus square Chiron. All of these things are happening this week. And basically what this can bring up is good and bad feelings, you know, just natural feelings that we all feel as human beings. And it gives the opportunity for people to connect When we're going through the thick of things, it gives an opportunity for you to connect with other people and say, you know, you know, come sit at my table. Or maybe this is a chance for you to understand that there's a lot of people who are going through their own shit and you've gone through enough with them that the best thing that you can do is to branch out on your own and not be a support system and not be someone that they can continue to lean on because you yourself have enough on your plate and you've given all you can. These are things that Chiron is going to help you with now that it's um, direct and moving forward. It will show you what you are capable of um, when it comes to healing now in this moment. And it'll be really practical and realistic in how it shows up for you. And that could be the new chapter that, that you're entering into in your life. Maybe this is the groundbreaking moment where you decide that I have to do this for me. I have to put myself first. Why? Because that's the energy of Aries. 
It's not that it doesn't want to give or look out for others. It's just that its role is to show up as a leader and an advocate for itself, which ultimately inspires the other signs and the other aspects of your life to do the same thing. So you showing up for yourself is the biggest blessing. Where do you fall in all of this? What are your needs in all of this? What is the best gift that you can give yourself this holiday season? What is the best gift that you can give yourself as this chapter in your life ends and a new one begins? What is it? What does it look like? Ask yourself those things. This is going to be the biggest blessing this week. It's an honor to be able to sit here and hang (laughs) and chit chat, talk with you guys once again here on the podcast. Thank you for vibing with me and I'll see you next week. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.